my thoughts on the 2022 World Cup so far, very good. Very, very good. I think the, um, the quality of football has been really good from a lot of teams in this World Cup so far. So you've got to mention the time I'm recording this video. France have just beaten Denmark 2-1. So we're in the second match day, group stage. Now building up to the World Cup, as people who know me closely, I was not excited for this World Cup for a lot of reasons. With number one, being in the middle of the football season, like a big season, being in the winter, number two, money orientated and a money and money orientated country number three all about money and wealth so that put me off in a number five a country that doesn't really love football like the way our country does england so there was a lot of reasons why i wasn't excited as the reasons i've stated there but i'll tell you what i've been proven wrong and then um, which is good to see i like being proved on sometimes and um, because I'm, I'm really liking this world cup i've watched a lot of games and i tell you every game is has, has really in, impressed me now I know there's been 5 nil nil draws that's a downside um, the, the draws that's a downside I have to say but apart from that the games where there has been goals there's been some absolute thrillers and I mean some of them nil nil matches that I've, I've talked about there they've actually been good nil nils they haven't been proper ball fests but there's been um there's been a lot of goals, like a lot of good games in this World Cup. Now, the best one I've probably watched so far, I did enjoy France v Denmark there, which France have just won 2 1. I really enjoyed the Japan v Germany match. Now, that was a really high tempo match. That's probably the best match I've watched so far. And I thought Japan were absolutely outstanding. They should get out the group. Very good team. I think they were massively underestimated before that match. And God, they put Germany on the floor and deserved that win as well because they were the better team. The beat Germany in every single department, just like USA did. I thought did against England last night. Um, very unlucky not to win USA. England were very poor compared to the first match where they beat Iran six two. England were really good that match, but couldn't back it up last night. But yeah, I um, I think the best teams that have impressed me so far in the tournament. Um, France two wins out of two. The first team to qualify for the last sixteen. Very good team. Japan. They've already played one match and God, they were amazing. I, I, I expect them to beat Costa Rica tomorrow and, and qualify. Um, so obviously, Saudi Arabia got beat today. They were fantastic against Argentina, though that being the shock result of the tournament, along with Japan's win against Germany. But could you really say Japan's win was a shock win against Germany? Because I'd say probably not. A lot, Like I say, a lot of people underestimated Japan before that match. This is a very good team, you know, high energetic team. We've got some good players in that team. Tommy Yassi with Arsenal. Um, the Celtic strike, I forgot his name, and a good coach. I mean, they're, they're probably the best Asian team. But obviously no one expected um, Saudi Arabia to beat Argentina. Obviously they've been beat off Poland today. So teams that have, I think the best teams in the World Cup so far, the teams that have impressed me the most, I'd say Japan. you got to say Spain, obviously winning the first match 7-0. They'll be a team to watch. France, as I've mentioned, two wins out of two. I'm not going to say England. I thought they were poor last night. I can't say England, I'm sorry. Um, I thought it ran were really good against Wales yesterday, actually. A good way to bounce back. Um, I'm trying to think what other... Portugal were lucky against Ghana. So were Belgium against Canada. I thought Ghana were really good against Portugal. Um, what other teams impressed me? I'm just thinking, guys. Brazil, I thought, got a really good win against Serbia. Um you wouldn't say it was a dominant performance, but they they done it was this was a tough test for Brazil in the past it, simple as that. Really good win. You'd expect them to, to along with France get two wins out of two and qualify. Um Germany, the teams that are I'll talk about the teams that have disappointed me the most. Um I've got to say Wales, very poor. Um Germany were very poor against Japan. They didn't live up to the, the hype and expectation building on them going into this World Cup. Canada were very unlucky against Belgium, should I say. Shouldn't have lost that match. Belgium were not good that match. They got very lucky. I'm not going to say England. They were poor last night, but I do think they'll uh, sort of get out of that group. What teams have not impressed me? Argentina, God, yeah. But I do think they're going to beat Mexico tonight and bounce back. There's no way Argentina will, will lose two games on the bounce. They'll, they'll have that, that bounce back attitude, momentum, and I think Argentina should go on to beat 
Mexico tonight, which will be a tough test for them. And I think they'll go on to beat Poland and I think they will get out of the group. It was a shock result against Saudi Arabia, but I think that's going to really give them a kick up the arse. Because it was an acceptable result. But yeah, um, I don't think Holland have been that special as well. Ecuador being very good, should I say. Holland have not impressed me. Um, very lucky against Senegal, I thought. They were poor last night against Ecuador. Ecuador were the way better team. Ghana were very unlucky to lose against Portugal. And Portugal didn't deserve anything there. I think Ronaldo helped them. But yeah, that's my thoughts on the World Cup. I'm really enjoying it, guys. I was not excited going into it for the reasons I've stated. But I've been proved wrong and I'm really, really enjoying this World Cup. Now, I am going to tell you uh, the team I do think will win the World Cup. And I, I said these before the tournament, I'm going to stick by them. I do think Brazil will win the World Cup. I think they've got the best squad, the best coach, and uh, the best bunch of players, if that makes sense. And the squad depth's unbelievable. But you could say the same about France, but I'm sticking with Brazil. But yeah, um, the tournament's impressed me. I think it's been really good. It's been one hell of a tournament so far. Um. Like I say, I was an excited build um, going into it, but quality of football being played is really good. Now, I know, like I've said, there's been a lot of nil-nils, but I wouldn't say they were boring nil-nils. I think the England match kind of did kind of put me to sleep last night. That was probably the worst match of the lot. But there's been some uh, there's been a lot of draws, obviously. Good entertaining football. Been a lot of injuries, which you can understand. See, players are going to be fatigued. You could see it towards the end of the France match there. Um that's understandable though. Now France are gonna France are gonna have the luxury of um of probably resting their entire eleven against um Tunisia because they've literally just topped the group now. So they, they have the luxury of doing that. It could have been England as well, but they beat USA last night, but they're gonna have to play England are pretty much through, but they'll wanna top the group and they'll wanna have bragging rights over Wales. But guys, that's my thoughts on the World Cup so far. I'm really enjoying it and I'm really looking forward to the rest of the World Cup. Um it's going to be really exciting to think we're already halfway through, but there's plenty more to come. I'm really excited. I'm loving this World Cup. Hope you guys are too. Hopefully it does come on, but I don't think that will happen. I'm just being a realist. I'm going to stick with Brazil. But no matter what, let's enjoy the World Cup. It's been really good so far. Thanks for watching. Loving the World Cup 2022. Been amazing so far. Thank you.